Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur 63 kilogram catchweight contest will be competed over three three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This young fighter has a record of one win, one defeat. She represents the Aspire Combat Sports Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Ellie Davies! And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist has a record of two wins, no defeats. She represents the Northwest Fight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Sophie! Samantha! Our referee is Mr. Nico Joko. Sophie Samantha taking on Ellie Davis. This is our seventh fight of the night. Two very good gyms and two uh, very good young and burgeoning female fighters that we've got here, Steve. Sophie Samantha, we've seen a few times recently. She fought K1 last time, I believe, like kickboxing style rules and yep. looked really sharp. She's a very aggressive fighter, is Samantha. Benelli Davies training again. You pointed out training out of a really good camp with the Aspire Combat Sports Academy. She'll be ready for this. Yeah, she had no fear at all in uh, standing straight in front of uh, her opponent and throwing that wing in that big right hand, so... Samantha now embracing the ground, looking to improve position, but she turned. Starting to use that head position now. Yeah, she looks strong in that position. But Davis doing the right thing. You see her shoving the head there, trying to get some space, create that space for that frame. Shoving the head, getting, make sure the head's not on the uh, same side as the underhook. So that's good work in defense from Davis. Yeah, made, made Samantha give up on that. Take that just end. Oof. The shot landed low there, below the belt line. Yeah. I, I don't, it creates a whole different set of problems, I would imagine. Yes, uh, it's not something we see that often in the uh, in the female fights, to be honest. No. Nope. But was the uh, less we go on about that one there? Absolutely, you just don't know where that foot ended up, do you? I mean. <laughs> yeah, back to it, though. Samantha doesn't look uh, too phased by it, pressuring back. Good work for Ellie there, just under pressure a little bit, and she uh, took the time to clinch up, drop the level a little bit, clinched up, and just to stop the uh, onslaught that was coming in from Samantha, so. I hate making this comment about female, female athletes, but it does seem that Samantha has a little bit more size, and she's, she uses that really well. Yeah, and you can see her uh, sort of impressing that physicality against the fence, really strong upper body pressure. Dave's doing a lot of the right things, trying to bump to get the space, using that right arm and that C grip inside the biceps, doing a lot a lot of the right things. And against uh, an opponent who might not be as strong, she might be out of there. Um, but Samantha is, yeah, very physically strong and imposing in that position. Good work from Davies, though. Yeah, he's always ready waiting with that count on the right hand. Switching stances as well. A little uh, show low and go high with a kick. Oh, big right hand again, landed for Davis. Looking for the trip. Good takedown defense. So, Samantha gets her back to the cage. Has that underhook. Overhook, sorry, looking maybe to turn. Yes. And then sometimes that's just where sometimes where the uh, you know the strength difference plays out. Upper body clinch on the fence. The fact that uh, Samantha was able to turn her back off the fence oh. and has happened a couple of times. Nice knees from Davis. She's got to be careful. She's just got to be careful where they land. Yeah, with a with a back against the fence like that, I don't think there was too much mustard behind him because. You really need to drive the hips and get the hips forward. You couldn't really take a step back with the legs, but there were good shots, clean shots, landing, and made a, an impression at the end of the round. Absolutely, and, and Samantha, Sophie Samantha couldn't 
couldn't just disengage and throw. She had to defend the knee. So it was good work from, from Ellie Davies over there. I mean, you really couldn't ask for two better corner teams, could you? Surrounding you as a young athlete. The Nightmare, Megan Morris over there, very experienced fighter. And then, of course, the Aspire team. Yeah, and that was, uh, you know, a good first round. Pretty well matched, I, I think, on balance. Probably Samantha had most of the running in the first round, but she definitely didn't have it all her own way, and it's still pretty evenly, evenly matched going into round two, I'd say. I mean, is it me or does Sophie Samantha just look like she's having the time of her life when she's in the pocket throwing shots? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's, she's smiling away with everything that she does. Yeah, I mean, everybody's different in terms of, oh, big right hand again. That's wow. really nice from Ellie. You see her wrapping in about four or five uppercuts through the middle. Proper hockey fight there. Heavy on the head. Yeah, a big smile again from Samantha. Yeah, I mean, She's absolutely thriving in it. Eats a big right hand, some uppercuts through the middle, and uh, yeah, good not phased one bit. Good movement there by Ellie Davis. Again, she is the shorter opponent, giving up a bit of reach, a bit of height, but slides out of the way of a lot of these shots coming in. Yeah, little fakes and dips have been uh, working with the right hand for Davis. She's, um, oh, spinning back kick as well. Yeah, she, she likes to use that right hand as a counter when Samantha's coming in. She's also moved forward Ooh. with. Ooh. That last shot wasn't far away from the chin. Oh, and the little right hand behind the left body kick there for Samantha as well. Landing some good shots now at the own needs of her own. Those ones look quite solid through to the midsection. Yeah, not allowing Davies to drop down. Chase the single or the, the double. Good work there. Good Lord. <laughs> no, blood, no bad blood between either of these two. <laughs> They both share it's right hand. Samantha yeah. coming in with some big shots behind it, though. The difference in that exchange, they're both under the right hand, but Samantha followed it up, hook cross, got through while Davis was still reacting. Walking her opponent down again. Sophie Samantha back. Oh, that got through. Yeah, I did like that. The little. Uh, Sort of stabbing push kicks to the legs. Just got Davis focused oh. on something else, and then Samantha stepped in with a big right hand over the top. Jump in front kick. Samantha applies. Both, uh, both these girls throwing a nice selection of shots. I'm tired watching them both. No reverse gear for either of these two young ladies. Yeah, you sometimes see, oh, it's a big right hand again, closing out the round. You do see um, certain fighters sometimes, and, you know, they like to strike with certain things, you know, some throw a punch and not much else, some of the kickers. I'm enjoying the fact that both of these two are throwing quite a lot of everything, you know. We've got we've had spinning kicks, we've had counters, pushing forward, knees, punches. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Well, three minutes left to separate these two young prospects. Sophie Samantha again, the red corner of the Northwest Fight Academy. 2-0 record. Ellie Davis, the Aspire Combat Sports Academy prospect, 1-1. One one. Samantha, Sophie Samantha perhaps just, just inching ahead, using that little bit of size, a little bit of strength advantage she has. But Ellie Davis, absolutely in here for days. And she's eating a couple of huge shots, like they were the salad she's having for tea. Yeah. 
Both these two have uh, landed and eaten heavy shots and absolutely no backstepping or quitting in either of them. I was just changing my uh, headset there, Steve, so I don't know what you were saying, but at the moment, if I would have to say, I'm probably, and, and two close, close rounds, but for me, I think Samanda has just had the better of them, you know, by an edge, so potentially two rounds up for her, I would say, on my completely unofficial scorecard. Uh, this round's shaping up to be the best of the three so far. Yeah, Dave's seen it all the way, and she looks really dangerous. When Samantha comes in a little bit haphazard sometimes and maybe a bit excited, that right hand's always cocked and waiting. And it's, uh, it's found its mark a few times. Oh! oh Outside trip. I mean, that look, she made that look effortless. Yeah, you know what it is? Cause these two have been mostly exchanging strikes, I think. Samantha has just got into pretty much kickboxing mode. And as she worked forward there, it's not because Davis is not really showing any takedowns. She just completely didn't have it on her mind at all. Quick change of direction. And that was a lovely takedown. And a good time to hit it as well. Absolutely. Plenty of time to work in the round. She's now inside control. Yeah, working for an arm triangle there. But I think Samantha just got wise to it and pummeled the arm back in. She doesn't want to fold it back around that way, though, where uh, Davis can get ahead into the armpit. Looking to trap the arm. She's got it. And now trying to chip away. Samantha gets the arm back. Yeah, I think she realised to get out of it, she's going to have to sh ship a few punches to be able to start to work her way back up. And she's, and again like this, you know, yeah, risk reward. She wants to get back up, and to do that, you've got to give something up, and that's normally a pose to try and get back up. Ellie Davis, though, like really sitting down on that, ha was trying to really sit down on that half guard, make it hard for Samantha to get back up to her feet. She does, throws a big headshot that Sophie Samantha eats and then smiles. Oh. Yeah, that was some great work from Davis. Really busy on the ground with the shots as well. So about the back fist, the spinning back fist. <laughs> <laughs> These two are show women as well as fighters. Tries the spinning. Underneath the hips, though. Yeah, she's going to hit that takedown. She might carry her course there. She's good. Big takedown into side control. One much from the, now I'll take the knees to the body. Ten second clapper goes. And it's been a really, really strong round for Ellie Davis. She might, might not go into this yeah. area. What a fantastic fight from these two young female prospects. Wow. Yeah, now that was a brilliant fight. And I'm not one to say, but I said, the first two rounds were close, but I swear to Sophie yeah. Samantha. The third round, Ellie's controlled and dominated the vast portion of that round, but not enough for a 10-8. So what you potentially got is the winner of two close rounds versus the winner of a more one-sided round, which sometimes is a bit of taste, but that's how I see it. But uh, Well, knows? in a moment, we'll find out. But, uh, a great, a great fight from both these young ladies, Jack. Absolutely, brilliant matchup, and um, whichever way that one goes, I wouldn't mind seeing that one again. Great fight. We'll go inside the cage for the official decision. gentlemen, please give these two young athletes a huge round of applause. What a great fight! So ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges have come to a split draw. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause 